Volcanic Differences Between Mars and Earth Volcanoism is a process in which magma from a planet's interior rises through the crust and erupts to the surface. The erupted materials consist of molten rock, lava, hot fragmented debris, tephra or ash, and gases. As the magma rises, it eventually reaches regions of lower density. When the magma density matches that of the host rock, buoyancy is neutralized and the magma body stalls. Geologists estimate that about 80% of the magma generated in the Earth stalls in the crust and never reaches the surface. However, at shallower depths in the crust where the lithostatic pressure on the magma body decreases, the gas, such as carbon dioxide and water vapor, would escape from the melt to form a froth of gas bubbles. The nucleation of bubbles causes a rapid expansion and cooling of the surrounding melt, finally causing the magma to erupt to the surface. Many of the same magmatic processes that occur on the Earth also occur on Mars. Both Earth and Mars are large, differentiated planets built from similar chondritic materials, and both planets are similar enough compositionally that the same names can be applied on their ingenious rocks and minerals. Despite such similarities in composition, the volcanoes on Mars are different from those found on Earth. The Martian volcanoes are much larger, though less frequent, mainly because of Mars' thinner atmosphere, being less than one hundredth that of Earth, its lower gravity about thirty-eight of Earth's, and its more rigid crust. Because the lower gravity of Mars generates less buoyancy force on the magma rising through the crust, the magma chambers that feed volcanoes on Mars are thought to be deeper and much larger than those on Earth. If a magma body on Mars reaches close enough to the surface to erupt, it must be big. Consequently, eruptions on Mars are less frequent than those on Earth, but are of enormous scale than and eruptive rate when they do occur. Somewhat paradoxically, the lower gravity on Mars allows for longer and more widespread lava flows which may be unimaginably huge. A vast lava flow the size of the state of Oregon has recently been described in western Elysium Planitia. Crustal stability may also be the cause of the large size of the Martian volcanoes. Earth's geology is dominated by the effects of plate tectonics. The rigid outer shell of the Earth, the lithosphere, is divided into plates that move laterally with respect to one another. Where plates diverge, as at mid-oceanic ridges, new crust forms. Where they coverage, one plate generally rides under the other to form a subduction zone. Melting of subducted plate as it moves down into the mantle may give rise to volcanism in the subduction zone. As a result, volcanoes on Earth are limited in size because plate motion usually carries them away from the magma source. Mars, however, displays little evidence of plate motion. Its crust appears very stable. Therefore, a Martian volcano remains over its source and can continue to grow as long as magma is available. The eruptive feature is also different. On Earth, magmas commonly erupt as highly fluid flows which either emerge directly from vents or form by the coalescence of molten clots at the base of fire fountains. These styles are also common on Mars, but the lower gravity and atmospheric pressure on Mars allow nucleation of gas bubbles to occur more readily, and at greater depths 
than on Earth. As a consequence, Martian volcanoes are also capable of erupting large quantities of ash in Plinian-style eruptions, during which hot ash is incorporated into the atmosphere, forming a huge connective column. If insufficient atmosphere is incorporated, the column may collapse to form pyroclastic flows. Plinian eruptions are rare in volcanoes on Earth, where such eruptions are most commonly associated with Sicilia-rich andesitic or rhyolitic magmas.